Hey going? Star off grid here on a lovely brisk morning. Um, I'm back onto this uh, wood mill. I've just been waiting on some parts. Uh, I nearly just went stuff it. There's no spaces. I'll just bolt it down. But if I did that, the drawbar goes in there. It wouldn't have fit. So lucky I waited. Now, the big problem is that um, I put the wheels on as well. Now the manual doesn't say to put the wheels on yet. But to do the next part, I've got to turn this over. So I figure I better put the wheels on now, otherwise well, I've got to jack it up or whatever later. So I'm sure it's better to sit on the wheels than it is onto the on the suspension. Now I did try on I think I've got some footage of it um, from the other side, but I tried to to pull it over with the winch and all it did was drag it sideways. So I've got this other winch and I just thought last night I was thinking about it and I thought well I'll just try and mount it off I was going to put two planks on the top of the of the um, tent and strap them down and then just sort of strap this to the two two bars to sort of like lift it straight up but then I've looked at it and I thought well why not mount it there so I've drilled a hole there and a hole there and I'm going to mount it there and um I'm actually going to keep it there because this was only like $120 and it's good for two ton I think 4,500 pounds I think that's two ton I can't remember I don't know you I guess you half it don't you Rough, roughly so two thousand two ton um, I don't have anywhere to put it on the front bull bar uh, there's no cradle or anything so I'm going to mount it here and I'm going to keep it there and so what I'm going to do before, I've got these lights that come with the rack, one there, and there'll be one there. And it's going to cover half of them, but still it's all right. You'll still see the light come out of it. Now, so I don't want to put them in. I've got to put them in before I put the winch in. Now, there is another video. I'll put it into the description of building this um, chassis. Now, that's quite straightforward. It's big and heavy. And hopefully this this is going to work to to put it uh, pull it over um so yeah have a look at that if you want to have a look at that and um i'll continue on now this job gets bigger and bigger every time i look at it like um i've opened the other crate was open good morning roosters um and i've actually i was looking at the plans to you know put it together and the next stage I couldn't I couldn't find the next stage so I've just started sorting all these parts out but if you have a look at it there's there's a lot of work goes into this um, you can buy them drive away I think they're down in Victoria somewhere and uh, but it's about an extra thirteen hundred dollars for a drive away well it might it might be worth it, the $1,300, because there's a lot of work in this, and, and you, you've virtually got to be an engineer to do it, I think. So let's have a look at all the other parts that are left over that I can see. Some are underneath, and I think that's the ones that I'm looking for. So we've got all sorts of parts here. Brackets, little uh, covers, all sorts um some i don't know what they are but anyway i think all these things are part of the lifting thing to well that that um, winch definitely is oh shut up will you i'm trying to make a video um yeah that's part of the winch to pull the logs up and then you've got various other stuff a battery battery box and a battery in there and a couple of big pins there we've got some sort of fluid bottle there with the connection on it um, a whole lot of bolts and then over here all right we have the motor we've got the actual um, cutting blades uh, housing which would have two wheels on the inside of it that the that the blade runs on in a big circ oval oval circular motion um, now the thing is is that that I can't even move that it's that heavy and I, I've I did something to my back muscularly and it's just come good so I'm really not looking forward to trying to lift this thing. I'll probably just um, 
maybe try and slide it so I oh, actually I can bring no once I if I pull this chassis over I can come over here back the four-wheel drive up move probably have to move all those parts I've got laid out there but and then I can just lift it up um, and put it somewhere so at some stage that's got to go on top of the chassis so I'm glad that I hope this four-wheel drive works because otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do my, my other option was to um, I, before I come up with the idea for the the Hilux to put the winch on it I thought the only way I'm going to do it is to get the tractor working so the tractors over here so it's got an arm on the front hydraulic arm hopefully that all works and whatever but I thought before I before I uh, decided on the Hilux I just thought well I'm gonna have to get the tractor working and stop stop work on the wood mill get the tractor working and use the tractor to do it but now I've come up with this other idea hopefully it works and the tractor can go back to another um, another priority a less priority although it will be getting done soon because I've nearly got, I'm working on the boats still and um, then I'll get it done so we've also got there's the drawbar but these is what I was looking for all this stuff under here and then there's another thing under there that I don't know what that is yet so once I get the once I get it over and you've got over here we've got the these are the tracks that lay off the side of it to bring the um, logs up so they basically get pulled up and each time they get oh that's the wrong way they, these would be the right, same way around so the log comes up through and then it can drop back down and then gets pulled 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 across and got dropped back down there are all the legs to um, basically set the trailer up so it's not moving and then a whole lot of other little fittings and the mud guards so once I get this trailer over I'm gonna lift that off and put that somewhere else lift this off put that somewhere else and then I can get to the bottom parts and I think that's all the parts I need for the next part of it all right well I'm gonna bolt these lights up and bolt the winch up and see if I can pull this thing over all right so that's the lights in all right that's the winch on it's a bit crooked but um I'll see if I can fix that up later but I need to use it first now I've just got a this is the battery for, for the tractor so I'm just going to connect it to that all right leads clamped on stand off to the side and hope for the best all right so I need to back up and try and lift straight up otherwise it's not going to work once I get it straight up I can drive forward and tip it over or just take it off get it get it on its side and tip it over we'll see how we go all right so I'm backed as far as I can I maybe have, if I have to go further back I just got to take that uh, wheel off it and then I can go right back but we'll see how this goes That's as far as I'm going to go, as far as I can go. Because, oh, maybe not. I can go a little bit further. Well, we'll see. All right, so what I'm watching for is that I don't, I don't care if I put a little bit of dent in the bumper but you just got to watch out for everything else now I think that's as far as I can go somehow it's not I can go a little bit further 
until this basically hits the bumper. Alright, now it's hit. Back it off a bit. So, now what I want to try and do is drive forward, but I've got to drive forward just enough to get it upright and sitting on that wheel, but not enough that it's going to crash into the back of the car. Alright, so I can um, push this now and and I'll get it up onto that wheel, but I'm worried that it's going to, oh, actually, I should get it up onto that wheel. Let's, I'll see what happens. Push it. Alright, so at the moment, it's all right, I've got an idea. Now I've got the uh, Razorback, it's winch connected to this. I'm just gonna take the weight with that. All right, so that's straight up and down just about. come around here disconnect this now I can drive that four-wheel drive out and pull this over winch and pull this over shouldn't do any damage. See, much better idea of having the wheels on, I reckon. All right, well, um, I'm bloody happy with that, I can tell you that much, because if, I don't know how I was gonna get it over, and like, I could have tried to use the tractor but um, there's no guarantee that tractor's going to start so I really wanted to get this thing done finished built you know and um, yeah I, don't, I didn't have any other options so a little bit of thinking there and um, I've come up with some options and it worked so anyway I'm Slayer Off Grid hope you enjoyed that see you later